Welcome back everybody to another episode of Go Little Garage. It's Mini Kit Monday. Today we have the police car, part of the city series. This is kit number 60312. This was released in January of 2022. This is for ages five plus. It has 94 pieces. It's gonna be a quick one. Still available retail on lego.com. You will get 65 points if you're a VIP member. And don't forget to use our link down in the description. This is a cool looking little car, very blue. I'm guessing that the picture on here does not do it justice as to the color of blue. So let's dig into it and see for ourselves. That was a little bit quicker unboxing than I thought. Thought there'd be a little bit more. One thing that I see that I like already, there is no decals. There are silk screen parts like the sides. But I mean, it's a police car. You expect a lot more markings and stuff on it. They went simple on this one. There's just two sides that say police. There's a big old scoop sticking out of the hood. And it looks like there's some uh, pretty cool parts in here. Got a chassis, got a manual, got our two bags. Let's get going on this. is the Lego City police car. Let's talk about this. Cool looking little car once it's finished, but there's a lot of things I'm not a fan of. First thing, these four studs back here, the four exposed studs, not a fan. They also don't line up with the two little bumperettes here. You could have put another smooth piece there, like these smooth pieces that would have finished out the look there, made it look better. Studs on the top, Totally get it, totally understand, totally okay with it because it's a Lego car and they want to maintain that it's a Lego car and have the trademark studs on it. I get it, but vertical, unless it's like this where it's single pieces, supposed to look like exhaust or tail lights or something like that, they could have put a finishing piece there, a blue or black uh, smooth finishing piece to make that look better. Probably blue and then it would have made the bumperettes stand out a little bit more. The tail lights having studs on them i guess completes the look of the vertical studs in the back but on the front we have smooth blue emergency light circles so not consistent from the front to the back not a fan of that and also smooth on top for the lights here and the headlights are smooth because they're just little slit headlights in here which really look cool i like those and i'll get to the things i like in just a second the one other thing i'm not a fan of other than the steering wheel being very recessed in here for this guy is you give him a flashlight to hold in the the first pre-step and then you know he's you can't drive with a flashlight and you can't even hold the flashlight because he doesn't fit in here the other thing i don't like is there is visible orange brick and a big open space in the back here. There's no need for that to be open and there's no need for that brick in there to be orange. I get it, it's another one of those things where you need to tell the front from the back, but you have green in the front, you have orange in the back. You could have done green in the front and blue in the back and matched that all up or black in the back and matched it all up and it would have been just fine. Or put a brick in there to cover up that orange so that there's no, just a gaping hole in the back. I don't know what the goal was there. Yeah, so, oh, another thing. There's several things in the instructions. Number one, there was a typo that says piece count of find one tire and one wheel, and then put four tires and four wheels together. Can't do that with one of each. And the next page is you put the engine on, you're done. The other thing in here was there is a step where they have you pick out a whole bunch of pieces and then you only put a couple of them on before you turn the page 
Then you finish assembling the rest of those pieces. That should not happen. Like, yes, it's a sub-assembly, but if you can't make it on a two-page spread like this, then it needs to be broken up into other steps where you get the other pieces on the other page, because this should not happen. You should not pick pieces on one page and put them on on another page. That's, that's bad form. So let's get into the things that I do like about it, because there are a few things that are really cool. Number one, love the little light bar here. It's consistent with the thin headlights up here, and I really like the thin headlights. These little blue ones are not meant to be the headlights. The headlights are here, they're thin pieces, meant to look like a charger with the horizontal line headlights. Those look really cool. I like the big old scoop with the big old engine on here as kind of a show-off police car, as in kind of a high-speed pursuit police car. Lots of horsepower, I like that. There's grills for the hood for the engine, and the lines, are making kind of rally stripes, racing stripes, and the police car has a spoiler. So this is definitely a sports car that was made into a police car, just like the Charger and just like, you know, Camaros and Lamborghinis and stuff in the past. So that's kind of the concept of the car, and I dig it. The other cool thing I like is this grill guard. This massive grill guard, brush guard, cattle guard, whatever you want to call it, I like that in the front. It makes it look like the chargers with the big old push bars on the front with the grill guard. I like the use of the fluorescent yellow here as kind of the safety yellow, but overall this is not not my favorite kit, not my favorite mini kit. It looks cool. It'll, it'll look good on the shelf because it's bright blue. It is a little bit darker than I was expecting. It's not quite so bright blue, but it's a good color blue. It's a good police blue. I'm not sure why it's rectangle. Like if this is a sports car, if this is, you know, sleek, they should have rounded off these corners. And we've seen it on Speed Champions, we've seen it on all the other car models. They could have done a lot better on this. I know this is a quick build, this is a cheap build, this is a cheap little kit has the one piece chassis on the bottom here. It's not bad for what it is, but there's a lot of little things that they could have done way better. Like this, this seems like this was an intern design or, you know, somebody fresh to the engineering department. And they were like, here, you gotta design a kit. Welcome to the team. Here you go, go design a car. And they're like, okay, we'll make a police car. We'll make it rectangle and we'll make it have bricks in the back and we'll make it with a trunk that has an orange bottom and we'll, do the thing. So it was a good attempt. I've seen better, built better. It's a cool little cheap car if you want something to build, if you want something to add to your collection, especially if you have a Lego City, it'd be a good little addition. I don't think it's going to draw the attention away from the larger city builds. It'll just kind of blend in nicely on your city streets. So if you want a cheap build, if you want a stocking stuffer for your kids, if you want something small, if you want something to, to play with at work, pick it up. Otherwise, if you want a really cool car and a really fun build and a really astoundingly creative and well-engineered kit, this one's not the one. This one's not, this one's not that at all. But the next one might be. So don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications so you know when we when these come out. Mini Kit Mondays are every other Monday right now. I'm, I'm trying to build up an inventory of mini kits so I can put one out every week, but I'm not there yet. So like I said, subscribe. We will definitely have a lot of builds, bigger builds, good builds coming up, as well as real car builds, but that's all coming up. For now, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next.